about monitoring, what is monitoring and in distribute systems and why do we need it and when to use it. So uh, monitoring in distribute system involves the systematic collection, analytics, uh, analysis and uh, visualization of various metrics and data points related to the health, performance and behavior of the system's components and services. The primary goal of monitoring is to ensure that the distributed system is running smoothly, identify and address issues promptly, and optimize its operation. So let's talk why monitoring is crucial in distributed systems. <coughs> so well, let's say that we have distributed system and we connect it with a monitoring uh, system or service. What we get from that? So to know that, I just do it like that, make it, um, I'm gonna make it lift and I wanna make it with red and numbers and make it, yeah, make it quite small. The first thing that we got from monitoring is what we call a fault detection. So, <coughs> so monitoring helps detect faults, errors or uh, anomalies uh, in the systems in the system it provides early warning signals when something goes wrong allowing for pro uh, allowing for pro proactive troubleshooting and minimizing a uh, down um, downtime let me just see this one anomalies anomalies yeah anomalies anomalies yeah it's not anomalies it's anomalies i i pronounce it right uh, i pronounce it wrong sorry for that so let's talk about the second thing when it comes to why we use monitoring. So the second thing, it will be the performance optimization. Let me make this even smaller. So <coughs> by collecting performance metrics, monitoring enables administrators and developers to identify bottlenecks and areas where system performance can be improved. This optimization contributes to be uh, to uh, to uh, to a better user experience. Also, um, the the other thing that good about monitoring it's the capacity planning. So uh, monitoring provides insights into resource usage, helping organizations plan for future growth, for future growth or scale resources, up or down as needed. It prevents resource Exhaust, exhaust, uh, exhaustion and service uh, degradation, degradation, degradation due to in, uh, insufficient capacity. The other thing that comes, we need why we need monitoring for is that resource allocation. So monitoring helps in efficient resource allocation by showing which components or services consume the most resources this information is valuable for optimizing resources utilization security monitoring uh, uh source utilization sorry sorry for that um the other thing that would be good for using monitoring is for security so monitoring can <coughs> sorry so monitoring can identify uh, s uh, suspicious activities or security breaches by tracking access locks, authentication attempts, and abnormal behaviors. It plays a crucial role in identifying and uh, uh, mitigating security threats. So <clears throat> we know why we need um, uh, monitoring, and this is one of the few reasons why we need monitoring just to talk right now and high level why we need monitoring because in terms of system design interviews you don't need to know that much about monitoring so when we use monitoring like when we need to use monitoring in our system because you will be asked in your system design interview to use like monitoring or something or something like that so the thing that we try to use monitoring for it will be um let me give it numbers here the the, in the development and testing phase this is the first thing that we would love to use monitoring for so during development and testing phases monitoring is used uh, to profile application performance and detect bugs and optimize code 
also you would you will need it in de deployment and operations so um let me just make this bigger so in production environment continuous monitoring is essential for to ensure system st stability reliability and security it helps operations teams detect and respond to the issues promptly it's a great when it comes to scaling optimization so as the system evolves monitoring helps determine when and how to scale components optimize configurations and allocate resource uh, effectively also you need when we need monitor when we need um, capacity planning so um, monitoring helps organizations uh, plan for capacity upgrades or downgrades based on histor uh, historical and real-time resources I don't know if you can see this or not but from our previous logging video monitoring and logging the sounds quite the same and the use at the same time because and if you think that you're absolutely right because like frequently we use monitoring and logging with each other you would use both of them and in the next video i will try to make a video to talk about what are the differences between monitoring and logging so we will not uh, we will not just get um what we what, what how can i say we not we will not get uh, get lost so uh, let's talk about this one here so uh, why we need uh, like what are the best practices for monitoring the first thing that i will talk about that we should define a clear objective and key performance indicators for your monitoring efforts so when you in your system design interview just to try to know why we're using monitoring for this specific system because if we are if we are designing such a, a distributed systems monitoring is a good choice and for our kpis it's a great it's a great great solution but if we are designing a small system there is no need to use monitoring or also there is a need to use monitoring it depends on the requirement of the system that you are designing the other thing that we can talk about is that you should select the appropriate monitoring tool and solutions based on your um, on your system technology and this one i will say it's a off edge because you will not be in ask in your system design interviews about why we're using these specific tools what are tools for monitoring it's just that like from my experience mostly it will be like i'm built i'm using the system and in the improvement system in the improvement section i will say okay i will use this and this and that and that's it so um in conclusion monitoring is um an integral part of uh, maintaining a healthy and efficient distributed system it empowers organizations to proactive uh, proactively address issue optimize performance and provide reliable real uh, reliable and secure user experience so that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you guys in future problem